The course is called the CHASP course, which is a care home of the assessment of a sicker patient in care homes, basically. And um, the course has been developed to give the care home staff, the carers and the registered nurses, the sort of clinical skills they need to help recognise and manage patients in their care homes to stop them being admitted to hospital unnecessarily. So we had like one session that was um, focused on, on, on one area. So we were going from heart to lungs to um, brain um, failures um, for us to be able to understand how it can affect not only how to assess people, but how it affects their daily living, like how the medication will affect them. So we deal with people who've got dementia in our care home. So obviously we can't get the information of them. It's not that easy to go and just check um, and ask the simple question like well, what's happening, we kind of need to make that judgement of, of um, if they are well or not. So it gave us a bit more confidence on that. This project's for a year, um, we're running two cohorts um, and this is the first cohort that's just completed and finished and luckily we're able to celebrate their success. Obviously we had people coming in to help us with end of life, so we knew something was, um, you know, we'll cover that, that end. But um, we as a care home, we don't have professionals, we don't have nurses. Um, so we are missing on some of the trainings, um, even though we've got similar responsibility because in the end we've got, in my care home, we've got 39 residents that we look after on a daily basis. Um, so definitely I think we, for the first time we went into something that really um, made a massive um, change with our confidence, yeah, definitely. So within the education team we offer a number of skills from clinical skills such as tracheostomy, um, end of life care, um, PEG and RIG um, sort of gastrostomy tubes, uh, catheterisation, right through to communication skills. Um, we offer courses with university, um, six steps care homes, um, so again end of life care programme for, for care homes. Um, so it ranges right across the board really from say clinical to non-clinical. I think it should be like a mandatory training for all the staff who are thinking about going into care. Knowing that there is a team that you can always um, phone and ask about, um, you know, um, basics really, and they will guide you or at least reassure you that you're doing the right thing, it's, it's a massive help.